Welcome to a new episode of Camera Shit, and this time we're driving through New York City. Stretched. What I want to show you today is a free plugin for um, Premiere and After Effects. It is called Atomic Stretch and it is from uh, Atomic Image Labs. This uh, seems to be a new company. Two guys are behind that. Those two ones. Um, I guess we can expect a lot of more from them because um, although it is a free plugin, it is one of the best ones, I think. Um, we have it here for PC, for Mac, and I want to show you what it does. So I'm here in After Effects. So um, imagine um, you have a client. This client wants uh, his film in um, a cinema scope. And what you are doing is shooting that with your 16x9 camera. And later um, you add letter boxes to it. Um, the point is you will lose um, pixels resolution because you cover them with those uh, black boxes and um, this one can help you out so I drag something in my comp this is um, one of my last episodes so I want to show you um, the composition settings I made it's here uh, 2160 by 1080 it's a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. So this one is um, not a good example. So I go much further. The best one is you can see the top of the bridge. So I think right here is perfect. So we go ahead, choose effect, atomic image, lapse, atomic stretch. And so what do you see? It stretched this image see it here the logo here you can see it here it is stretch and bend it of course so this is the best reference so what can we do with this so we are here um, in the settings the output format is set to auto here we can choose 4 by 3 then we have a, a 4 by 3 image but as you can see use this logo as the reference um, a lot of the image has been cut off like this. The image border is uh, right here. Um, the next thing, 16 by 9. So nothing changed um, because it's 16 by 9 already. 21 by 9, and this is what we want to reach. Also have auto and custom, and if you enable custom, then you can stretch it much more, shrink it. choose another aspect ratio if you wish. I choose 21 by 9. So protected area is the next one in um, the settings. And uh, to show you the effect, I will first go to a stretching overlay show. I hit it. So now you can see um, the whole grid. And it's bended here to the sides. You see that red color space and here this green one and the green one is the protected area and everything which is inside of this protected area will not be affected by um, this bending here so we can uh, increase the protected area so if we go do it you can see this does not look really believable more for a dream sequence or something like that i don't know Go ahead and decrease it, and I think we want to have the bridge not attached. I think this is quite good. Um, I saw in the uh, trailer, um, I put all the links where you can find this plugin and trailer into the description. What I found that you can um, track an object. There is uh, the example of a van um, that is followed through um, the streets and it is tracked, uh, but I haven't found out how to do that yet. But um, for now, this is okay. 
The next thing is uh, here are the protected center settings. You can um, move the protected center left and right. You can animate it through um, keyframes. I think that's the way how to, to track it then later. The next point is the interpolation mode. So it's set to exponential, but let's see what's happening if we change it to linear. So then we have a straight and not this bending. This is what you can choose. You can go to gamma, probably to exponential. The curvature, this letter has influence on the curve of the grid. Go back to um, three, which works fine for this one now. Um, the next is the vertical stretch. You can go up to 100%, but you also can go down to zero. And then everything is straight. So I will hide that one. And I think that looks really, really believable. So before it was like this, now 20 by nine. So, okay, you would not put a logo um, to your image before you choose this effect. This uh, should be um, a layer by its own. It's just uh, to see what uh, this plugin can do. Okay, the next thing, the color mapping. First have to enable it. And um, there you can decrease or increase the saturation. So now you can't see anything. But this one is for the area which is red. So if I disable the grids. So now check out here the left side or maybe maybe the, the logo. Can you see something on that one? No, not really. But here, check out this part. What's happening here? I decreased the saturation and increase it. And the same with the lightness here. You can see it only affects the side, you can darken it. And this is pretty cool to hide this effect, this bending maybe. I will decrease the saturation and then I will turn down the lightness. And so the viewer only concentrates onto this point in the middle shut this effect off you can see before and after you have to be um, careful with this um, color mapping it is not good for every situation better example is when it is in the air maybe like this that does not look very good so to work a bit more settled so maybe like this so and that's all that is the plugin very nice to handle very easy to handle and uh, definitely big help um, um, there were some projects in my past where I could use this one uh, I hope you have fun with this try it out um, and um, yeah until next time